Well, Don, we're going back to see some of our old friends over at Limestone Branch this week. You know, Charlie, we've done some Yellowstones in the past, but now we have two of their special selections, toasted and one finished in Takaji cask. You're going to want to come back just to find out what a Takaji cask is. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to this week's edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, this week we got two bottles. If there's anything better than one bottle of Don, it's two bottles, right? That's right. And two bottles from our good friends at Limestone Branch. Our good Branch. friends at Limestone Branch. So we love those guys. They're one of our favorite stops on the Bourbon Trail. They should be yours. Um, if the, the, both of the guys, uh, Steve Beam, their master distiller, and Steve Fonte have both been to Charlie's. There's not many places we can say that about. That's true. So, you know, they're some of our favorite people, and we like to think we're some of their favorite people. Right, Don? Yeah. We think, My good friend Don Wayne's so. a bourbon fool, right? Absolutely. So, Don, what do we got this week? Well, I know that hundreds of people tuned back in to see what Takaji meant. Yeah, you know, at least a couple. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a white wine that comes out of northern Hungary, and uh, it's made with white grapes. So it's a specialty wine from northern Hungary, and... My understanding is the people at Limestone were very pleased on that barrel finish. Yes, I think when Steve was here, he mentioned that he was excited, and Mr. Fonte said that it was one of uh, Steve's favorites. So right. that that's pretty high marks, right? I it, mean, it is. The bar set way up here now on tasting this thing. So that's that's right. And then the toasted is uh, finished with toasted oak staves. But what I really really like about this is they used five different varieties of toasted oak staves. Oh, wow, okay. So it's going to give you some really unique flavors, I would assume. Yeah. And, you know, it, be anxious to see. We have one that's at 100 proof, and then the 101's at 101 proof. Well, we usually like to do the higher proof last, so let's go with this one then. Yeah. Let's go open this one up first. That one proof's gonna make a difference. Usually the swing is, you know, a little bit more than one proof. Yes, but. exactly. So let's see what we got here. So this is a toasted barrel. Like you said, it's 100 proof. This is their special finish collection. Yep. So they use they use high toast staves, American oak double toast staves, vanilla staves, rickhouse staves, and spice rack staves. Wow. So those must be uh, named after the company that produces them, each to give a different profile. Okay. Yeah. I can tell you right now, just pouring it, it smells great. Oh, uh, it does. It yeah, has, yeah. It has some. Cheers, bud. Yeah. I get the bacon spice right off the nose. I think there was. I think I had an extra one of those staves on my side. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow, there is a lot going on in there. There is a lot. Well, you, you know, the five different staves, five different layers, layers of flavor, I think, in there. So. so I'm getting orange zest. I, I'm mm -hmm. getting cinnamon. Uh, I'm getting allspice. And a pretty good bite, a pretty good spice note, too. Yeah. Um, Boy, that is really an interesting. A good friend of ours said this was their, their, their favorite bottle. Absolutely, yeah. I see why. Wow. That is really different. Really di different than any other toasted that I've tried. I was tried. just going to say that. You took the words out of my mouth. It's different than most toasteds. Um, you know, we've been doing a lot of these together. It, we think alike exactly, in a lot of yeah. ways. There has been a lot, quite a few toasted barrels coming down the pike lately, so... Um, but that's that's really special. Wow, that is really really interesting. Now, okay, so this is their what do they call this? Their limited edition. So it's yep. been one come out every year for. I know I've had them back. I think to 2016. So I so yep. maybe 16, 18 at least. So yeah, I know they've been around for a while, um, and they're always something completely off the wall, like. I'm not sure I know anybody else that's using Takaji cast. That's true. That's true. And it's a blend of seven, 13, and 16 year old bourbons. So nice. That are then finished in the wine cask. Okay. All right. Let's 
cured for. A hundred and eighty degree different completely flavor different. profile. Yeah, right, right. It's lighter, a little smoother. Yeah, it's, um, I'm gonna call it delicate. Yeah. Um, the other one, robust, a lot of flavor happening yeah. all at one time. And this one is more of a very, very smooth. Um, I don't wanna call it a dessert wine because it's not overly sweet. No, it's not overly sweet. But it has a fruit forward profile. Yeah. Get the little touch of Takachi at the end. <laughs> no, seriously though, there's like a flavor there I can't put my finger on, so maybe I, I it know, is Takachi. I, <laughs> I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm surprised you don't know recognize it because you recognize frankincense right away. Yes, that I know. Yes. Really smooth mouthfeel. After it opens up, a little more of the caramel comes out. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really got a really nice finish. Wow, what a contrast. I was just going to say, these are two di completely different bourbons, um, you know, out at the same time. Uh, be a nice pairing to try the two together like we just did. Right. Um, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing how the bourbon world has, you know, within one distillery can make two very, very specifically oh, yeah. different products. Yes. Um, you know, and, and it's really, it's evolved because if you go back in the day, okay, way back. They just made bourbon. <laughs> and, and most of the bourbons in the early days tasted similar mm -hmm. okay there there wasn't a lot of thinking outside the box both of these are outside the box absolutely yeah and you know i i'm very impressed with them in fact i will tell you that both of these are two of my favorite yellowstones yeah i agree i uh, agree really, fantastic yeah. really good so uh mr beam uh mr fonte you did a you did a great job here and i am really impressed yes nice job uh you're gonna want to come in and try these limited editions not sure how long they'll last but they'll be here for a little while and uh yeah it's crazy the difference charlie maybe i'll get a bottle of takachi to go with it cheers my friend cheers thank you everyone for watching Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from all of us here at Charlie's. Hey, thank you all for watching the videos and have a very happy and safe New Year. We'll see you in 2024 with some very nice whiskeys. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.